When I was about 10 years old, uh, my gran uh, asked me to knock on the store to pick up my auntie. She was at her boyfriend's house. And I remember you know, hearing music, but the drums were very loud. And uh, I remember feeling something inside and it hit me. Obviously the door opened and I found this room and there was this guy playing these drums and I remember just looking up at it and going, okay, I want to do that. When I was about 12 years old, uh, there was this guy, um, uh, Alan Webster, one of my first uh, jazz teachers, and he introduced me to um, John Coltrane. I, I think the album was Blue Train, and um, Philly Joe Jones was playing drums in there. And I was like, this drum is doing something else. You know, there's this, it's not like a constant beat. And I was really drawn to that, and I was like, wow, I, I, that's what I want to do. I, I want to, that's the style that kind of spoke to me. Some periods of my life, which I've done so already, I have to go away uh, to other parts of the world to learn the, the various things that, 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 the, that the, the world of music has to offer. I won the Samro Scholarship. And I thought, well, you know what? Uh, 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 people in India aren't going to, it's not a, like a terribly rich country with a lot of uh, structure for bringing people over. And I, I, I want to use this opportunity to, to discover that music because it's been something that I've been listening to since I was a kid. That was a great time of, of self-discovery because India is that kind of place. You can really discover yourself. My guru told me that, he says, uh, you know, if you take music seriously, you, you can do wonders. So uh, I believed him. <laughs> so I'm going for it. That's basically the, the crux of it. My entire vision for, for my future is not just about me, because uh, it's about like the whole music community at large. You know, part of part of the vision is to actually make it accessible, like without looking for it. You, you're supposed to have it ready at your fingertips. One day, I, I want to. I actually want to be the minister of arts and culture. I'm taking it that seriously. But I, at first, I gotta, you know, play around the world, <laughs> get the information. <laughs> Now that uh, the Standard Bank Awards come come my way, it's a great feeling to like know that you you're excelling in, in your in your field, and and I do appreciate the fact that like they recognise that you know uh, as a young jazz artist um, they're willing to invest in me, which is more than any artist can really ask for in South Africa. I see it as a as a great opportunity to, uh, you know, help with the, with the vision that I have. When people hear drums, especially with like a stick hitting a skin, that, that can transcend one right back to before ancient times. It's a, it's a magical experience. It's one, I think for me it's one of the few magics that's left on earth, you know. For me, when I'm playing the instrument, uh, I might have the knowledge of the age that I am now, but I have the same amount of joy that I am when I'm 10 years old. It's, it's like I'm right back there again. When you're that age, you, uh, 10 to 17, your ideals are, are endless. You, know, you can find that perfect world. But nothing's changed in terms of the passion and the, the amount of excitement I get from playing. It's when you know, I just look a little bit older. <laughs> Most of modern music, you, there's, there's a drummer there somewhere, you know. If he's in the front or he's in the back, they, they're there. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs>